Okay, so we've done the Brexit before. This place is huge. You cannot do the whole thing in one day. So our strategy is to prioritize. We're not messing around with farm animals, butterflies, or anything that we can see at home. We're going for the big guys here. We're going for gorillas and cheetahs and serious stuff, okay? This is Magellan. And this is Greyhound. Where we make videos about epic road trips, kayaking, hiking, and other outdoor adventures. We weren't joking about the size. Opened in 1899, the Bronx Zoo is one of the largest zoos in the United States and the largest metropolitan zoo in the country with over 10,000 animals. It's kind of crazy that a 265 acre zoo exists in New York City at all, but here we are. There's three separate large parking lots and four gates to enter the park. We used the Bronx River Gate and waited online to enter during our chosen time. You do need to reserve tickets for a specific window of time. Knowing we couldn't see everything, we chose 10 a.m., the earliest start time. Our first stop is the American bison, the national mammal of the United States. In the early 1900s, the bison were nearly extinct until the Bronx Zoo sent herds of Bronx-bred bison to South Dakota to help repopulate the species. It was one of the first major conservation efforts in America. The next section is the birds of prey, where you'll find some vultures like the Cinerus vulture. In the back, there are some king vultures. There are also Andean condors and owls. Check this out. We had a, we had a problem finding this one because uh, he kind of looks exactly like the branch. This is a golden eagle, and this is the famous American bald eagle. My niece asked me where we were going next, and so I decided to Magellan a route. The Congo Gorilla Forest is a 6.5 acre exhibit featuring, you guessed it, gorillas. 20 western lowland gorillas to be exact. It's easy to see why they share 96% of the same DNA as humans. This one's just chilling in the shade behind this rock. Look at this guy. He's, he's working some stuff out. Look at him. He's thinking very deeply about something. Yeah, he's like, I don't know. What should I have for dinner? In addition to gorillas, there are other animals here too, like monkeys. These are black and white colobus monkeys. And this is a wolf's guanon, which are from Central Africa between Uganda and Congo. Like we can put them in our backyard, dude. Make it just, you know, play in the trees and stuff. Oh my god, so cute. These are okapi, which look like a cross between zebra and giraffe. Look at that butt. Oh yeah, look at that butt, baby. Not sure what kind of bird this is. This is my favorite part so far, definitely. I love monkeys, I love monkeys. This is a good time to explain that we're here with family and my niece wanted to ride the bug carousel. And so that's what we did. Which bug will we choose? This is very important. Oh my God, do you guys know, it has been probably like 30 years since I've been on a carousel. <laughs> After the carousel, we decided to have lunch at the Dancing Crane Cafe, but not before first checking out these peacocks that were walking around the plaza. The cafe has a mix of typical food options, some healthy, some not so much. Magellan thought he was trying to be healthy by taking all the breading off, but he's so desperate, he's just gonna eat it and ew, what are you doing? Oh You're disgusting. Ew! <laughs> Ew, dude, ew! <laughs> that is so gross, dude. <laughs> Man, animal. There is also a store. Before heading to the Africa Trail, we checked out some more monkeys. This is a white-faced sake. And this is a Bolivian gray titi. 
Near the cafe is also a turtle pond. My niece wanted to know where we were going again. Everybody knows what giraffe look like. And here's an ostrich too. This is the Jalada Reserve, where you'll see the Nubian Ibex, a desert goat species from Northern Africa. These are some rock hyrax. And nearby them are the Jalada, found in the Ethiopian highlands. These are Nyala, a type of antelope from Southern Africa. These lions are doing some serious chilling. Our next two stops are Jungle World and the Bengali Express Monorail. We'll first do Jungle World. These are Indian Gharial, one of the longest crocodiles, whose special snout and teeth make it ideal for them to catch fish. This is a leopard who seems very focused, pacing back and forth. The leopard exhibit is kind of small considering how spacious most of the zoo is. These are the silver-leafed langur. Scratching my butt. I'm scratch the butt. These are ebony langur. Most are black, but those from a small island in Indonesia have orange fur too. This is a carpet python. This is an adorable tree kangaroo. These are tapir from Southeast Asia. Here's some more lazy animals. The Bengali Express monorail is a seasonal attraction where you'll take a guided tour throughout the southern portion of the park. Here you'll see axis deer and antelope from India and Sri Lanka. Those are Shavalsky horses from Mongolia and are very endangered. This is an Asian elephant, which weighs over 10,000 pounds, eats 200 pounds of hay a day, and drinks 60 gallons of water a day as well. These are Indian rhinos. Acting like he owns the place, this is a markor, a wild goat. And here is a cute red panda sleeping in a tree. There's a tiger resting behind those trees. This is the Bronx River, which runs through the zoo. Our next stop is the Himalayan Highlands, where my niece found one of her favorite animals, the red panda. This red panda is from the western part of the Himalayas. For those wondering, this current shot here is being filmed by my niece. Please let her know in the comments what a great job she did. This is a snow leopard from the northern hills of Pakistan. They are extremely rare to spot in the wild and are nicknamed the Ghost of the Mountains. These are some camels and apparently there are camel rides but weren't available when we went. Now to visit Tiger Mountain. This is an Amur tiger up close. Such a beautiful creature. Much easier to see than from the monorail before. Our last place we visited is the Dinosaur Safari, a quarter mile long walking exhibit. We realize these aren't real dinosaurs, but it was a fun exhibit for our niece to see the dozens upon dozens of animatronic dinosaurs that move and roar. <laughs> they have a fossil exhibit too, where kids can sift through looking for remnants. Now that I think you found it. That's what you're gonna be. You're gonna be an archaeologist when you grow up. Just check to be sure the exhibit is open before you visit. It is seasonal and has only reopened in the last year or so. So I made fun of this place because I know it's not gonna have real live dinosaurs, but it's actually really cute. And that's just a snapshot of the Bronx Zoo. There's plenty more to see and do that we could not possibly show you in one day. We highly suggest you familiarize yourself with the map beforehand and definitely reserve your ticket for the earliest possible start time. The zoo is busy during the week for school trips, busy on the weekends, busy during the summer, and crazy busy during times like spring break when the parking lots may actually close. Let us know what you thought of the Bronx Zoo. 
Otherwise, we'll see you on the trails or in the water.